the night, November 1st, Dia de los Muertos. We've been preparing with our altars. We have some food ready for our relatives that are coming tonight. So what I want you to think about is that people that have passed on, we want to just remember the good that they left us. You know, I want to remember my mother's resiliency and vision for the future and my father's ability to enjoy life, not the fact that he would drink a little too much. Because you know, when people pass away, only the good remains. So if you have issues with your loved ones who have passed away, this is the perfect time to resolve them and to think about the gifts, the assets, the legacy that they left you. First thing I would like you to do is to get this little journal that you might have and to write down any insights you might have. Ask your relatives for questions. How can I be healthier? How can I connect to my past? What are some gifts that I have from my ancestor that I am not using? Well then, second of all, you can write those down. And it's particularly important to do this tonight so that if you have these insights, they'll be there in the morning. Now, one of the ways I remember the good that people left me is that I've done little stickies. So this is my sister Margaret. She once said she's the mother of the universe because she loved to be a mother. She had five children and all these grandchildren. And so the motherly aspects of who she is is what I want to inherit. My friend Rebecca was a friend to everybody. So I write down, be a friend to everyone. That's what Rebecca taught me. My friend um, Walt, Walt was a political person. He worked so hard for young people to start a new world. And he was really funny. So I want humor and that kind of um, commitment to a better future from him. I put these stickies up around my altar to remind me of the gifts that my family and my friends have given me, which are now part of me. So that's so important. And then tonight, I'm having seven people come over with their pictures uh, to talk about their relatives and to talk about Dia de los Muertos and to formally welcome everyone home. And that's important as well because, you know, one generation ago, we would have known each other's grandparents. We would have grown up in intact communities. So with your own people, bring them together to form this community that honors their ancestors, the legacy of the past, and that weaves you together it brings your roots together so that you can celebrate. So happy Dia de los Muertos. Gracias a Dios for all of our relatives and those who have come before us. And thank you to our beautiful culture for having this pathway, this journey in which we can celebrate the past and bring it into the future.